Hi everyone, this is the 40th video of the ACT math practice problem series and here we have a simple problem from the concept of percent. As I always recommend, before seeing the solution, you can pause the video and give it a try yourself and after that of course you want to match with my solution. So let's get started. Here the question says that if 25% of M equals 50% of N, then which of the following expresses M in terms of N? So we have been provided this information that 25% of m so let me write it down here 25 percent of m is equal to 50 percent of n before we proceed with the solution we need to understand couple of things here percent can be written as divided by 100 25 percent means 25 in 100 25 out of 100 that is 25 percent so 25 percent can be written like this that is 25 per cent meaning per 100 so 25 per 100 or 25 divided by 100 so that is 25 percent and then off is the word which can be replaced by a multiplication sign so in both the cases wherever we have the off off can be replaced with a multiplication sign so we can say okay 25 over 100 that is 25 percent off off is being replaced with the multiplication sign and then m so 25 over 100 times m is equal to similarly on the right hand side we have 50 percent so 50 percent can be written as 50 over 100 and then off can be replaced with a multiplication sign and then we can have the n right here now we have to express m in terms of n so let's keep m on the left hand side and let's transpose everything to the right hand side so from here what do we get well if we keep m on the left hand side then m is equal to 50 over 100 which is already there on the right hand side and then from the left hand side when we bring 25 over 100 to the right hand side it will become 100 over 25 if we do the transposition and then we already have the n so we are going to keep the n there as is and now we have to express this in terms of percent again that means we need to have a 100 in the denominator so I'm going to keep the 100 in the denominator and keeping that in the denominator can we write it like this so I'm going to say okay this 25 divides 50 and gives us 2 and then I'm going to keep the 100 in the denominator so then we can write it like this we can say okay then we have 2 times 100 in the numerator and then in the denominator we have 100 times n and that can be written as 200 over 100 times n and that can be written as 200 percent of n and we have already arrived at our answer so our answer is actually m equals 200 percent of n so then what is the correct answer option here well we have m equals 200 percent of n under option f so f is the correct answer i hope everything made sense thank you for watching see you in the next video